I'm sure there are AI applications I can yeah. say this person is friendly, this person communicates well, but it's not, uh, I think, ever going to replace the human interaction. Today, we're going to uncover how AI is changing the job market. I'm joined by Ryan Castillo. He's a technology recruiter. To get started, tell us a little bit about what you do. Initially, I first got into it in 2019. So I went from a graduate sort of candidate manager focus on the candidate side, and then I slowly transitioned into the client side and I'll manage the process. I'll meet with the, the clients. I'll try and do business development to meet yeah. new clients as well, yeah. understand their requirements for what they're looking for, and then find the candidates that are relevant for that. How is AI changing the recruitment landscape mm. and your day-to-day -day work? Definitely a very different experience yeah. in the recruitment landscape now and technology landscape and economic landscape 2020 2021 just fluctuating yeah. because um people be being made redundant in 2020 and then 2021 a lack of people in the yeah. country so it was a huge uh employer employees market people over hiring people exactly, um, getting yeah. insane uh salaries and insane hourly rates and then you know away over the past two years people are telling me and updating me about the economic class yeah um which has been quite tough and now it's like AI is the thing. Everyone's using it. I think we were talking about the like recruitment tools and then now you guys are using one well of them, right? Yeah, we use uh, Quill. Um, it sort of just does a lot of the, the administration tasks. So for example, if I video call someone, there'll be a little uh, video box as well that will be recording yeah. and taking, or taking notes, which then restructures all the notes. So I can just fully engage with the person. If I'm meeting with someone, if, you know, if it was a client meeting and picking up a job, or if I'm meeting with a candidate, I can just um, take notes um, through AI. And it means that when they talk about these their technical ability, I can better articulate that to the client. And when I talk to the client, yeah. I can better articulate what they actually mean technically yeah. to the um, to the candidates. So it kind of acts as sort of a business analyst in some senses. Which part um, of your day-to-day -day work still relies on very heavy human processes? The, I mean, the heaviest part is meeting, you know, um, and that's the part I enjoy the most. You know, yeah. meeting with different people, whether it's the candidates or the clients, in person ideally is always the go-to. Yeah. Um, it is, you know, still worth taking advantage of video calls when people are separate from, lo you know, locations. I, you know, if I call someone from Australia or Malaysia that's moving to New Zealand, you know, yeah. has full working rights and so on, I'm not going to wait till they get to New Zealand, I'll, I'll, I'll call them. Um, but the meetings is a part that I enjoy and I think most recruiters enjoy and a part that's always required because that's the part where you get to know them. The notes can't take, can't take down the uh, personality fit. I'm sure there are AI applications I can yeah. say, this person is friendly, this person communicates well, but it's not, uh, I think, ever going to replace the human interaction. Um, and, and you know, there's emails back and forth to organize things and I'm sure AI can do some of that, but I... Yeah. I think it's important for the human elements to not just uh, let AI do that because yeah. you're communicating. It's still communication between yeah. you and yeah. the, the candidates and the clients to organize things. You want to understand. AI can't yeah. understand yeah. the yeah. hidden meanings behind things. It's kind of playing a yeah. guessing game. So what sort of a trend do you see currently happening mm -hmm. in the job market? Mm -hmm. What are the like new skills that these um, mm -hmm. organizations are looking for? The soft skills are really important. But now that I say, especially in the New Zealand market, it's very much a employer's market because there is such a high unemployment. I guess employ employers can really be uh, more critical about who they hire and making sure that they hire the best people for both te technical reasons, but also yeah. personal fit. General personal skills, um, good articulation, uh, good interrelational stakeholder management skills yeah. are very important. I guess on the technical side, well, what I've actually found that's more interesting, I guess, is some things that aren't that important anymore. I guess such as Java and maybe the Microsoft stack such as .NET. It's interesting the trends where I'm seeing that JavaScript is definitely the way in the develop, development world. Um, so yeah, Node.js, React.js. On the data side, yeah, yeah, DBT and Snowflake are the buzzwords of data. Yeah. Often architects is with um, very niche experience in the, well, in a certain field, so rather than a broad architect, more such as a data architect, integration architect. As a recruiter, mm -hmm. like from your experience, uh, what advice you would give to the future candidates to stay mm -hmm. relevant? If you're a graduate, then I guess upskilling yourself, but also yeah. being open to internships, 
unpaid internships as well. Yeah. Because it's about getting that experience. Yeah. For people coming from overseas, networking, people, I guess, because it's an employer's market, yeah. they will often just focus on people that are in the country that have worked here before, yeah. that they know of. I honestly don't think it should make a difference yeah, because yeah. you've worked at a company in Australia, you've worked at a company in China or wherever it is, you've worked in the company. Yeah. Slightly different things with maybe the culture. And for people that are now looking for roles, people that have lost their roles, um, but have worked in the New Zealand market, upskilling themselves in yeah. AI, yeah. upskilling themselves in whatever technologies they're using while they're doing this, working on their own projects while they're looking for a role. Yeah. Because if you've been out of work for five months, you want to be able to tell um, an employer, yeah, I've been exactly. working on my own AI yeah. project. And then people that are happy in their jobs yeah. or while wanting to look for a change, don't get complacent, constantly upskill because you don't want yeah. to be lost with the times. When you do look in the future, you have these extra skills and you're keeping up with the time, making yourself more yeah. competitive. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me.